Hey YouTube, it's John Smith here, back with another LEGO Star Wars classic let's build review thing video, yeah. So that was a pretty quick build, about 35 minutes, what I'd expect for a set of this size. I'm going to say straight off that this set actually isn't as uh, heavy or large as I originally thought it would be. I, mean, I, I thought it would be something along the like, X-Wing, 20 X-Wing sort of lines, but no, actually it is a little smaller than that. I and mean, of course it is cheaper and has less pieces, but you know, even so, it is a little smaller and stuff, which I guess is kind of cool, but it's not any less of a set because that's just a little lighter. But anyway, so yeah, the set itself is pretty cool. It had three numbered bags, as you saw probably in the build. Pretty standard build, nothing really amazing special with it. There was a fair amount of repetition, just because, of course, you've got the two wings exactly the same and the engine's exactly the same, so nothing special. Just a little note, uh, and you may have not noticed, I hope you haven't, but I guess since I'm going to mention it, you're going to notice, and you won't stop noticing for the entire video. Sorry about that, but if you do notice, uh, the fan is on over there. I'm not sure if it's loud enough for you to hear it, but I'm just pointing it out because... You know, it's not like, I don't know, someone's trying to murder me in the background. It's just like a million degrees in London at the moment. So, it's on, and there you go. Anyway, that is more or less it to my fan problems and the set itself, like the beginning. Let's just now go into the minifigures itself, which are pretty cool. A very nice addition to the set. I really love these minifigures. I love the like, exclusive and they're all public and stuff. And let's just go into them right now. Alright, so first up we have Satil Lashan. Is it Lashan or Jashan? I'm not sure. I think she's related to someone else that we actually know. I'm so sorry, I do not know. But I remember someone said that she's actually related in some way to a character we uh, know from the trilogy. But I, I don't know, I'm sorry. Anyway, so we have here a Jedi, of course, you can tell by the lightsaber. Uh, who is, by the way, in the CGI trailer, which I think came out in 2012 as well, or 2011, I'm not 100% sure on that. But anyway, it was a trailer for the game, because, of course, we this is sort of expanded universe stuff. And from the Old Republic, not the, like, canon. I don't think this is canon anymore, which is unfortunate, but even so. She's very cool, and actually, I really like it, because she's a Jedi, and she's slightly different. Like, her, she looks different. Her colour, you know, scheme is all that different. Because uh, whereas normally you have Jedi's with the robes and things like that, that's more like the standard Republic sort of Jedi. But I really love this sort of stuff, and the Old Republic, in my opinion, is one of the best areas because there's so much stuff happening. You had so many Sith, so many Jedi. It was like a full scale, basically a fanboy's dream. You know, masses of Jedi versus masses of Sith. And it was just really, really cool. Anyway, so the minifigure itself, the printing is very, very nice. You know, you've got a little bit of gold. It's not really, I mean, it's not as shiny as chrome or gold, but it's like it kind of. In the right light, you can sort of see it's like a goldish tint. But anyway, yeah, the printing is very, very nice. I, I just love, you know, this whole style of kind of a military Jedi. She's not entirely, but if you've seen the CGI trailer, you know what I'm talking about. But she is a very, very nice mini figure. And I'm kind of glad that she kind of sticks out a little because she's like the uh, Grand Master or something of the Jedi Order in her era. She's like the equivalent of Yoda, seriously. If you played the game, I haven't, but I heard that. But anyway. Yeah, uh, her, her piece isn't anything particularly special. I think we've seen probably a fair amount of times before, but it does suit her. She's good. She's got a double sided face. This is a pretty standard, happy ish face. Uh, and then we have the angry, you know, I'm going to war kind of face, all that stuff. We've got some back printing as well, by the way. So that is very nice. It just sort of continues that gold sort of thing. So, very cool. And I stress, once again, normally I'm not a massive fan of lime green on many figures. I don't think a lot of you are, just because I'm not a massive fan of the colour in general. But I think it really does work with her. I think, you know, it really does go. I'm not 100%. I think she had a bit of armour on her arms. But uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. But I think this is pretty accurate, because most of her arms were showing. So, you know, similar to, like, um, Satine. I mean, is that her name? I don't know. The girl from Rebels. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah. But anyway, she's still a very cool Jedi. Uh, she's a Jedi with a double blue lightsaber, which is kind of rare. We don't normally see that a lot, which is very nice. 
But yeah, I, I just really like her uniqueness, I suppose. And of course, there's an exclusive figure. And we may have seen her more, like, if uh, the Old Republic wasn't cancelled. But, like, of course, now we've got Episode 7 and stuff like that. They're not going to do any more Old Republic stuff. They were only doing that because they were worried they'd run out of ideas with the Clone Wars ending and nothing more in sight. Yeah, but I don't think we'll be seeing the Old Republic again soon. So, who knows? But even so, I just like the fact she was really unique. And she's a good addition to your Jedi collection. I mean, if you want all your Jedi to look pretty similar, like all the Jedi robes and stuff, then maybe she's not for you. But I like her uniqueness and the fact she's kind of a different Jedi. And like, kind of that, so, I think she's still pretty cool, but even so. Yeah, really, I think there's more of it to the, what, the Satil Lashan? Lashan? That sounds right, though. It says in the box, Satil Shan. I don't know, Lashan just sounds right to me. Anyway, but that is more of it to her. Very cool minifigure, I think probably the owner of this vehicle, even though it says just Republic Striker Class Starfighter. Not specifically hers, but I think it's probably hers, so, yeah. That is more of it to her. Let's now go on to the next minifigure, which is a Republic Trooper. Alright, so next minifigure we have a Republic Trooper. Uh, this guy probably has an actual name, meaning we also saw him in the CGI trailer, as well as like he was probably the leader. Similar to Captain Rex or Commander Cody, like he was the leader of his own squadron who looked pretty similar to him. And this is what I'm kind of annoyed about with him. I mean, the minifigure itself is really, really cool. But I'm just annoyed the fact we didn't get a helmet and we didn't get more of him, basically. Um, because, if you're unaware, this is kind of one of the benefits of doing a classic review, is that you can sort of save from the future. In 2013, like, after this set was released, we got, um, that more orange trooper in the battle pack. Which is kind of unfortunate, because I only saw him in the CGI trailer, I presume those orange guys are actually what you get in the game. Seems kind of weird, to have two different things in the trailers that and the game, but whatever. Uh, and I think this guy looks so much cooler. The armor looks so much cooler, and I kind of wish we had the helmet as well. I mean, I guess if they were only planning to make this one guy, then yeah, I, I kind, of, kind of understand the fact they didn't make the helmet. I didn't make a specific mold just for this one minifigure. But they have done it before, so mm, I'm not sure about that. But anyway, he's still pretty cool. He comes with this minigun slash rocket launcher mix thing, which is actually really, really cool. Really cool. I actually really like this thing. I think it does have two different weapons because in two different scenes of the trailer, so I'm not entirely sure about that, but it's still a pretty cool weapon. Very nice. Yeah, and uh, moving on to the mini figure itself. That is his weapon, by the way. He doesn't come with like a little mini pistol, even though I really love this trooper, right? I really love this kind of armor because it's unlike the clones or stormtroopers, it seems like there's so much going on with this armor. Almost like Iron Man in one sense. Like, there's so much going on. There's gadgets and pockets and all sorts everywhere. Like, you know, it's not just, oh, some plastic which helps defend against blaster bolts or whatever. Like, this, he's got a knife you can see there, pouches all over the place. It seems like a really, really good trooper. And I really like this guy. I'm so upset they didn't like, continue this because I think this trooper is actually really really cool I really wish they had um, so I'm unfortunate about that and again as I said the, the helmet in my opinion would have been so epic it would have completely completed this and it was it would just been so cool you won't find it on some third-party seller I would assume but even so I wish they added it the hair is pretty standard nothing you can say there it's a one-sided face unlike Satil uh, and the face itself is kind of you know battle hard and all the stuff you know we see him a few times so it seems like he's a main character in the, in the trailer I mean sorry in the game but I've heard the trailers and the game are actually fairly different, so I'm not entirely sure about that, but anyway. He's a really cool guy. I really like this trooper's design. I wish they'd done more of it, but what are you going to do, I suppose? They can they sort of cancelled the Old Republic because Episode 7 and Rebels and stuff is coming out, so. Yeah, but anyway, so, don't know this guy. Let's just now go on to the last minifigure, which is another exclusive T701. Alright, so here we are with T701, a pretty cool, unique astromech. One thing I really love about the Expanded Universe is the fact that, well, not that it was cancelled, but the fact that, um, you know, you see progression and stuff. Like, you can see how vehicles turn into other vehicles, uh, and just a lot of stuff like that. I really love that aspect of it, and I really love the fact, you know, this happened like 1,000 or 3,000 years before Episode 1, by the way, this scene. So, you know, things were very much different, and one thing that was different was astromech droids. And of course we've got this guy, who is very, very cool. I, I don't know what it is. I really love different versions of things. Like, I love different Jedi. Jedi looks slightly like different from the normal. And I love astromechs that look different from the normal, really. You know, and this guy doesn't disappoint. He's actually brick-built. You know, his legs are the only thing he has in common with a normal astromech droid. Everything else is just a different piece. And I suppose you can move his head, if you will. I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not going to lie to you. I have no idea which one of these is his eye. Please tell me. Which is his eye? I presume it's not one in the front, but I really don't know which is his eye. <laughs> but um, even so, it's still pretty cool. It kind of reminds, think, makes me that. It kind of makes me think why they haven't added this, you know, on like um, normal astromechs, the turning of the head. It seems like a pretty standard feature you'd have. 
this is printed, that's printed, everything in the set is printed, so that's pretty cool. And of course, a big difference is you've got this piece on the back, which is like a back wheel, almost the opposite of a normal astromech. Astromechs are obviously coming out the front, but that is really cool. I really love to see different designs and things. I really think this is a very, very nice design. I like the fact it's brick built. I just love everything about this different thing, you know. I think it's really, really cool, and a very nice addition to the set. It doesn't go anywhere in the set, unlike an X-Wing, it don't fit anywhere, I suppose. But, you know, even so, I still think it's a really cool addition to the set. I'm glad we got it, so, yeah. But that is more than it for this astromech. All the minifigures in here were unique and very, very cool. Maybe not worth the entire set. Maybe not worth like, buying the entire set uh, again if you haven't got it yet. But still very cool. And, yeah, I'm not, you know, I think they may cost a little much if you want to get them on eBay because they are pretty unique and pretty cool. So, yeah, but I don't know. Anyway, that's more than it the figures. Let's just now move on to the set itself. So, the Republic Strike Class Starfighter, even, despite the fact the name seems like pretty common, almost like the Arc 170 or the X-Wing, it's probably uh, her specific Starfighter, or maybe it's something along the lines of the X-Wing. Like, even though it's a set used by a lot of the, like, you know, commonly used, it may still be her specific one, if you understand what I'm talking about. I don't know. Anyway, the set itself, as I said before, is kind of light. You know, um, and they're not flimsy or anything. Uh, you know, the wings do stay in place. They're not going to break or anything. But it's still kind of just light, I suppose. I don't know why I expect something like the X-Wing. It's considerably cheaper and has less pieces. But even so, it's still pretty cool. So, believe it or not, this set doesn't have that many features. Uh, even though, you know, it's an average size. It, you know, what you expect. But anyway, moving here. You can see you've got a couple of pegs there for the lightsaber. Of course, that's not accurate. Generally speaking, you can't actually take a blade off your lightsaber and put it there. But of course, you know, it's Lego, so you've got to make reminds. And I kind of like that. I wish that... I'm glad they added that rather than they hadn't, even though it's not accurate whatsoever. You know, because that's the thing I like. You know, technically speaking, yes, she would have it on her belt, but you can't have that. So it's like, yeah, you might as well have some pegs on it. You know, it's not accurate, so there's no point trying. So I'm still glad they added that. Um, the... Engines don't do anything, but they do look pretty cool. Really, nothing much to spare about here. You can see from this angle, it's remarkably thin. Like, seriously, really, really thin. It's, it's really streamed down. But anyway, uh, the uh, la, 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 detailing on here is um, very good. Very nice. I specifically like the transparent sort of pieces there. Very cool. I wasn't a massive fan of the color scheme, as I said before, you know, originally in 2012. Hence why I didn't get it. But it's sort of started to grow on me. I mean, I still prefer the Republic colours. It's like the opposite of Republic in one sense. Like, everything red is white, and everything white is red. You know, sort of that sort of thing. But even so, it's still pretty cool. By the way, this is um, printed. And as I said before, everything in here is printed, which is very nice. Engines, good detailing, very cool. Done of that. Cockpit opens, of course. You know, same as the next one. Don't know why I remind me of next one so much, but anyway. Uh, we've got a couple stud bits there, if you want to start what I'm talking about, like, um, for the minifigure to sit, so it's not cases case just sit around, like, you know, move about or anything, so that's pretty cool, and we've got this lever here, which can be moved up and down, it's pretty cool, and you've got, like, a few control panels there, which are also printed, so yeah, moving on to the main feature, of course, you can see from the box, the wingo, the wingos, the wings fold, fold out, and the guns fold like so. This is for attack mode. Some people don't know why certain um, vehicles do this, like the X-wing. Why does it do that thing? What's the point? It's more or less to increase its range of attack. Like you know, if it's attacking a big target like the Death Star, then it's just you know better if you're shooting like greater range. If you understand what I mean, not greater range, but you know, wingspan, just whatever. Anyway, um, see so ya. Yeah. So, of course, they work on Doom and Circus. I was thinking maybe, like, the guns would fold out with the wings, almost. That'd be a cool mechanism, but it doesn't. You, like, do it separately. Um, so, it's pretty simple design, sort of connected like that. Really nothing too special whatsoever. Of course, the wings are exactly replicas themselves. Uh, you can see there, that's how the wings are connected. It stays in place like that. And, of course, you fold it back. This peg goes in there. Simple as. Really nothing made special there. So that's pretty cool, pretty inside. It doesn't really have any landing gear as much. You could say these brown slope things are landing gear. But, I mean, I suppose they do help. But it's like they're not particularly sticking down, if you will. Like, if you look from this angle, you can see these brown things and, like, other things on the set are kind of the same sort of height in one sense. Like, if you put it down, you know, it's like, it's just sort of, almost like you're just putting it on the floor. There's no real landing gear in all honesty. It's just kind of there. But, uh, anyway, I think the last feature there, more or less is the flick fire missiles. Ah, oh, yes, flick fire missiles. Do you remember those? Ah, anyway, um, so yeah, these are pretty cool, I guess. Uh, you can fire them, like, from this angle. You don't have to, like, really push your finger under the wing to do it, so it's pretty simple. And you, I think you probably guess how they work. 
fire, push it in. Oh, that was pathetic. That was pathetic, but um, they were never known for being amazing. But even so, of course, now you'd have like the new spring load shooters if they remade this, but even so, pretty simple, nothing amazingly special there. Uh, but yeah, there's more respect to the features itself. The, the set, um, as I said before, I wasn't a massive fan of the colour scheme when it first, you know, when I first saw it. But it kind of grew on me. Um, and I just consider it like a cool, unique addition. That's really the main reason I think you would get this set. Not necessarily because you love the Old Republic, and not necessarily because, I don't know, maybe you want to get every set ever, but just kind of its uniqueness in one sense. It's kind of exclusivity. Is that a word? I don't know. But, you know, the fact it's not really going to ever be retailed again, you know, you're not going to really see anything like this. It's, it's pretty unique in a lot of ways. So it's just kind of one of those sets where you say, oh yeah, I got that set, and not a lot of people will in like five years. You know, you may be one of the few people. So that's really one main reason. It's one of the sets going to be forgotten, more or less. Um, it's kind of upsetting, but you know, it's not a massive set. It's just sort of one of those sets, really. But um, yeah, so it looks pretty cool in my opinion. You know, all right, I guess. I still prefer the Republic colors, but no biggie. I like the fact it is different, really. Yeah. Anyway, so that's more or less it for the set itself. Let us now go in to the instruction manual, the box, and then conclude this review. Alright, so the instruction manual is pretty standard, what you'd more or less expect from a set of this size. Just a bit of nostalgia here, just looking back, you know, like a club, all this sort of stuff. I used to collect that, by the way, if you didn't know. Um, got this sort of stuff. Pretty cool, I guess. That's another set, by the way, I reviewed. I reviewed that, oh my lord. I reviewed that a long time ago, like very early on my channel's history. That was one of my very first classic reviews, that was. Amazing. But anyway, so that officially means, by the way, I have got every single Old Republic set. Yeah, there's only four of them, but even so, I've got every single one. So yeah, very cool. Just for mode, uh, point of reference, I don't think we ever saw this in the CGI trailer. A lot of this just came from the video game. Um, so yeah, these are some of the other sets that came in 2012. Ah, oh, nostalgia. I got none of these. <laughs> Apart from that one, I got none of them. So, yeah. I would have got the Malevolence, because I think it could have been a really cool set, but just the way it looks so small. I mean, I get they couldn't have made a full-size version, but it's still, it looks so small. Just It just looks so small. My God. But anyway, um, yeah, so we've got a little action scene here, which is kind of cool. Nothing really special, kind of like a comic. I remember these things as well. I saw them in, like, 2012 Battle Pack. Ah, oh, yeah. Just nostalgia. This is nostalgia. Two pages of inventory, this sort of stuff. Uh, and a 61 page build and as you can see there by the way that is the lightsabers and that's how you connect them of course as I said before you don't really take off the blade from you know a lightsaber but who cares anyway so uh, yeah really that's more or less it as I said pretty standard build took me about 35 minutes or so nothing too special pretty standard instruction manual so yeah let's just now move on to the box Alright, so the box, the box, again, is also pretty standard. I would say it's actually a little smaller than expected. I don't know why everything in the set is a tiny bit smaller. But, even so, it's still pretty cool. For the Old Republic, of course. Very nice. I love this logo. I just love the gold and the way it shines. I just, I just love that. Is it just me? Whatever. You've got Republic Trooper. you got the Astromech. And you've got Satil Lashan. All new. All exclusive. Uh, as I said, the Republic Strike Class Cruiser, not specifically hers, just like, you know, a one. I think there were multiples, although I think in the background that's Coruscant. I mean, I don't know if Coruscant existed back then or if it looked the same. Maybe it did, I'm not sure, but even so. Moving to the back of the box, we've got the dimensions here. I kind of miss these. I don't know, I forgot what they have now, but I don't. I know they don't have these, so I kind of miss these. I think they were kind of cool. I got this, uh, I got that minifigure, in my opinion, one of the best minifigures LEGO's ever made. I just love the 3D sort ofness of it, if you will. That's why also I like the astromech, but anyway. But anyway, so yeah, this is a pretty cool fight, which also happened in the CGI trailer. Yeah, so, pretty cool. Got some stuff down here. Just basically the features I went over. And that is more or less it, really. That is more or less it to the box. Uh, do you remember the days when, like, the minifig? I think the minifigs are down here now, aren't they? I'm not sure. But, um, do you remember they were over here? Oh, yeah, and they had Darth Maul in the corner. Oh, uh, yeah, because I remember the return of Darth Maul and the Clone Wars was such a shock. <gasps> Although it really wasn't, I suppose. In, in, in hindsight, it really wasn't going to be a shock. Everyone wanted him to come back, and it was like, it was just a matter of time, but... Yeah, I really hope... Cause I, I know he's in a comic somewhere, but... Anyway, um, yes, that is more or less it to the set, then. I think it's time to go into the conclusion. So I like this set. I think this set is actually pretty good. More of a collector's thing, I suppose, in one sense. Because really, I'm not 100% who this set would appeal to. I think this was kind of, in one sense, a desperate, desperation attempt by LEGO. Because have to bear in mind, in 2012, the Clone Wars was officially going to be cancelled and things. You know, 
the Star Wars sort of was still sort of slowing down. Uh, they had no idea about Episode 7, they had no idea about Rebels or anything like that. So really, Lego had to think of, you know, new ideas, what to do. And of course, the route was the Expanded Universe, hence why we have a lot of these Old Republic sets and a lot of stuff like that. But of course, they quickly cancelled that once they learned about Episode 7 and its, um, Rebels and things like that. So, yeah. So, I think this set really is more of a collector's thing and not realistically going to appeal to you for that much. Uh, unless you particularly like the design or you really love the game, which I don't think is that popular anymore. It might be, I'm not sure, but I never played it anyway. So, yeah. But it is a pretty cool set and I enjoyed it. So, yeah. So then, if you like this review, please do give it a like down below, and please leave in the comments any future classic reviews you want me to do. Uh, I, of course, will consider your option, assuming it's not too expensive. There's no point um, asking me, hey, can you do the UCS Millennium Falcon? Believe me, I would love it if I could. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I really want to get back and swing these things. I haven't done a classic review in Lord knows how long. So, I do want to get back and swing about. I used to do them so often, but, yeah. Overall, I give this set 7, 7.5 out of 10. Pretty cool set. Uh, more for the collector, more for the sort of person who kind of thinks themselves, you know, if you find it this for a decent price, then yeah, yeah, that's more or less why I picked it up. I wasn't massively fussed about this, but I more or less saw it and I thought, hey, that's retired and it's for a decent price. That may not last long, so I thought, hey, why not? I'll, I'll buy it and review it. So here we are. Um, and yeah, there we are. Pretty cool set, as I said before, and as I said many times, it's a pretty cool set. I will not going to say it again, but anyway, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in another review. BTW, once again, sorry the fan was loud if it was loud. I'm not sure if you heard it, but damn it, it's hot in London. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching, and hopefully I will see you again soon. I will mention why I was particularly late. I was two weeks late on videos at another point. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later. Bye, Droops. <laughs>